Hello ladies and gentlemen this is your chef from gruzcooking.in with dhokla dhokla is a gujarati recipe that is very popular throughout india you can get this at any sweet shop and for now you'll be getting it at gruzcooking.in so please sit back relax and enjoy the ingredients kindly make a note of them For the preparation I have grabbed a bowl to which will be adding 200 grams of gram flour or besan. For seasoning we'll be adding 1 teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi. Give it a nice mix using a whisk. We'll add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and two fifty milliliters of clean drinking water. Now I'm not going to add all the water at once. I'll be adding it gradually as I need it. There are two benefits of this. One, when you add water gradually, you avoid lumps. And second benefit is. when you add it gradually you know exactly how much water you need so the consistency of the batter that we are looking for is what you will see soon but it should definitely not be too thick or too thin it should be exactly the way i'll show you by the way for your kind information the water that i've used here is 250 ml for 200 g of gram flour so friends this is the consistency you're looking for please keep it aside for 5 minutes and let it rest in the meanwhile i've taken a momos pot in which i boil and cook steamed momos in this i've filled it half way through and i'm waiting for this water to become very very hot so when it is hot we'll take eno which is a fruit salt and i'm going to add 3/4 teaspoon of eno to this batter remember this batter has now rested for 5 minutes and the water in the other pot is also boiling The moment you add eno, whisk it as quickly as possible, and keep whisking it at least for one minute, in such a fashion that you are trying to fill air into this batter. Of course, it doesn't make any sense that you are filling air; it's not a tire, but still. So this is the motion you'll follow, friends. Can you see those bubbles? Excellent. Now take in a cake tin. We'll grease this with some oil. And to this, we'll be pouring in our dhokla batter. There are some air bubbles. If you wish, you can tap it by holding this vessel. and now we are not interested in making direct contact we are interested in the steam so i'm going to place this vessel with one plate which has got holes in it and drop this in cover it with a lid and cook it at a high flame for exactly 20 minutes do not open the lid until 20 minutes at any cost it's been 20 minutes let's extract this we have this dokla which is bloated up amazingly and get it off i didn't have a utensil to hold this which i usually use is this one so anyway now wait for 5 minutes let it cool down and after that only you strike it like this take it off and <laughs> googly googly books na 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 googly googly books hmm as soft as a baby's cheeks googly googly books Na 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 na. Now take it down with your knife. Pierce through big cubes. Googly googly books. Na 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 googly googly books. I can't stop playing with this. This is too amazing. 
and it is coming out and it is just stretching over you can see how amazingly gentle it is right good now it's time for us friends to prepare the tempering so tempering is called in hindi tadka so i've taken a small pan to which i've added 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil when it is hot we'll be adding in mustard seeds when the mustard seeds crackle put off the flame and then you'll be adding in green chilies which have been slit get back for a while it is spluttering some oil so be careful and that is why i put off the flame now we'll add 250 ml of water and we'll put on the flame because we'll be adding sugar now and sugar has to melt it requires the water to be warmed for it to melt now you must be wondering who adds water to the tadka or tempering we do because the dokla is too dry and it will not go down your throat if you do not add water so the water is really essential the moment the sugar melts we'll be squeezing in one lemon juice the lemon juice has got two benefits one it offers you that sour and sweet taste because of the sugar and lime and second it avoids the sugar from crystallizing and makes your dough color fluffy and soft always till the end until you consume it of course so friends it's time now to pour this hot mixture onto our soft dough glass like this so let the dough glass drink this water and until then you relax let the dough glass come to the room temperature and serve it to your family and friends kids love it always so do adults sprinkle some fresh coconut and coriander leaves at the top serve it and enjoy friends this dough glass is also called khaman dough glass the actual dough glass is white in color but most people in india love this one so i made this one first and soon i'll also be making the actual original white dokla which looks like an idli for you please make a note of the cooking instructions my friends and if you have any queries please post them down in the comment section below it will be a pleasure for me to serve you and i'll reply to you as soon as possible if you liked my work please hit the like button and do share this video with your friends if they also want to learn how to make dokla easy way in flat 20 minutes if you wish to receive this recipe in your inbox on whatsapp you can follow the instructions here please do subscribe to my channel as well thank you enjoy